Fora TV. The world is thinking. I think uh, what Larry's been talking about are clearly uh, iconic elements in most people's understanding of global health, and that is, whoa, you know, what's the latest bug that's in circulation and how dangerous is it? Um, this says a lot about our perception of risk. And that's based not on numbers, but on myths and fears and all sorts of things. Uh, if it took 100,000 people, all of whom had swine flu, and said, what's the likelihood of one of them? It took 1,000 people, at least, with swine flu. What's the likelihood of one of them dying in the space of year one person? Uh, in the same group, there'd be two people who would die of heart disease over the same interval. But for uh, reasons that have to do with uh, the history of the way we perceive infections and epidemics in particular, uh, one gets attention and the other does not. Um, so we've, um, we've, we've developed an agenda for global health which is focused very much on HIV, TB, malaria, maternal health, which it isn't because it's only focused on a little bit of maternal health. The biggest killer of women during the childbearing and family formation years are heart disease, stroke and other problems like that by a factor of four. And yet we don't say anything about that. We just concentrate on delivery and the acute events in the first two years of the child's life. So there's a, there's a if you took the agenda for global health that's sort of sitting over here, which everybody nods at and Bill Gates pours billions into, and on the other side said, well, what are the problems troubling the world? Um, sure, some of them would feature in this list, but there'd be a whole lot of stuff that no one takes the slightest interest in.